What's going on people? It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogana Art family. And so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my new one-shot comic called Father Nature. And so Father Nature is a comic that I planned on making like a few a few months ago. I planned on making it. I started uh, thinking about Father Nature uh, a few months ago. So this is a one-shot comic. So this is going to be very... Uh, it's not really a comic that I plan on doing long term, but potentially it may. My long term goals is really with my main comic, which is uh, Oska. All right, so so Fallen Nature is I, I like and I enjoyed making it just due to the fact that I got to really experiment with different designs, uh, start to uh, create different things from my from my imagination, combine different things. I know that a lot of people weren't weren't uh, they didn't expect me to be th to to think about that that creepy whale creature face thingy, but you know it's 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 a cool, it's a good design and it's something I really wanted to like experiment with go go out of my uh, my genre you know it kind of expand my horizons a little and so the, the in terms of the story what Fall of Nature is about. It's about a boy named Noah, and he's a reincarnation of the of a tree called Hartho Tree, which is also known as the Tree of Life. And so, Noah is on a mission to restore order on the Earth for for humans and animals and and natural biomes that are near extin extinction because a of a mysterious parasite within Zero Zone. And so, Zero Zone is locations or biomes where humans cannot interact with zero zone is completely taking control over those parasites and these parasites have intelligence uh they have constructed their own civilizations within zero zone and they've evolved or not 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 evolved per se but uh they've used the human dna to enhance their own intelligence to match that of a humans as they continue on a plan to convert the entire earth into this this new biome and so the story entails that noah aims for for humans animals and, and nature itself to to work together to face this new threat that is now overcoming the planet and so what i've done is just created the one shot and so the one shot is called Bizarre Nature. That's the first part of the of the chapter, and there may potentially be a be a part two, but uh, I mean there there will be a part two. I'll I'll, I'll see if I if I uh, finish that that section. But fundamentally, Father Nature is uh, is something that I really want to like practice. That I really it gave me the opportunity to to practice on something else and to explore and experiment with uh, another genre uh different characters and it's helped me to evolve and refine my style in manga and in comics but my main my main passion my main investment is in Oscar because that's where most of my uh that's where i yeah that's where most of my thought and the characters that i create that's where most of my my investment is in most of my reflection as an artist is in is in this comic Oscar, and I plan on starting back Oscar in the near future. Uh, I have currently, or in a process of, I'm just reworking the scripts, uh, gaining new knowledge on storytelling, uh, and giving my characters, you know, signature ways of expressing themselves so that they can stand out in terms of the dialogue. Uh, the general basis of the story is the same, but it's it's now being executed in a more uh, refined and in clear way but i'll see it's up to the viewers what they say the feedback i get from that to see if it comes out the way i'm thinking it comes out but from doing research from other people you know i'm just doing the best i can and i'm starting to think to myself Although I may not be at the level I want to be whenever I start to uh, uh, remake Oscar, uh I feel like 
I still feel like diving into and, and continuing to draw Oscar, even if uh, I guess the art may not be uh, to my standards at least, and and the story as well. I just feel like it, it's gonna. There comes a point where it's, where it's gonna be like a uh, a learning experience as you as you grow and as you start to uh, to draw and, and and write your your comic. You're gonna start to notice different things. You know, and I feel that I'm going to uh, grow a lot faster as an artist if I do dive into Oska because I'm more I'm more uh, passionate about that series. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you try to make a subject or a topic or a comic or manga so perfect that you might not even end up making it at all because you're, you're constantly redoing it and perfecting and perfecting it and there's just going to be an endless cycle. That's where I'm at at the moment, but at the same time, I want to know enough to want to start back and remake Oska. With the mindset of, as I continue continue to make the series, as I continue to like put out, uh, start my first volume, or uh, or uh, finish the first volume or in the, in the second volume, etc., that there's going to be mistakes as I look back at it, you know. But that's that's something that to embrace and just be be okay with and I might have like a few remasters of the first volume and the second volume and, or third etc but uh, I just want to get the, the the message of uh, you know Oscar out there and if I do remake it people could see the evolution you know and, and it can and it can uh, inspire people you know people get inspired by your uh, by your uh, your evolution. If they can see it, they get inspired by the evolution. But if they just totally just see, like I guess the end game of of your you being a professional artist and not seeing what it took to get to that end game, they won't be as inspired by your journey. That's why I feel if there's like any novice artists out there, or in, or people who just feel that they're novice or their art is not good, just still post your artwork for you. Post it for you showcase that artwork you know and as you grow and as you evolve people are going to get inspired by your evolution all right so check out follow nature on the past or in the link in the, in the description uh i'm going to be making more tutorials on this channel so be sure to subscribe and like this video uh it'll help to support the channel and i'm going to be making tutorials like i said so the tutorials are going to be about softwares uh how to do certain things in certain uh, programs such as clip studio photoshop how to uh, um, do some anatomies, anatomy study uh, tutorials, uh, and some more manga tutorials. I'm going to be focused doing doing more of that. So stay tuned, subscribe, and peace.